Now, it was a case of so near yet so far for England, who fell at the final hurdle. The dream of ending the wait for World Cup success goes on after an enthralling run came to an end with a 1-0 defeat to Spain in Sydney. Uh, let's join Jamie Weir now, who is with a very special guest. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Young's FC and Harrow, the under-13 girls team, one of 200 clubs set up due to national under funding after the success of the Lionesses in the Euros last summer. And alongside me, a man who doesn't really need an introduction, and I was hoping when I spoke to you this morning, Sir Jeff Hurst, that I could say you're no longer the only player to have scored a winning goal for England in a World Cup final, but sadly that is still the case. It was disappointing yesterday morning. It's disappointing, for, particularly for the players and the team, what they've achieved over the... But overall, if you forget the fact that it's bitterly disappointing, and I've been there, um, the legacy they're leaving, getting to the fight, winning the Euros, then yeah. the final of a World Cup back to back, is nothing short of fantastic. And that group of players, and you've got to mention the, the boss, yeah. uh, Serena, we had a great boss in our time in Alf Ramsey, instrumental, fundamentally instrumental in getting a group of players together. And she's done exactly the same, playing as, as a team. You can see it in everything they, they, how they play. Uh, they congratulate each other, the subs come off the bench and congratulate them. The team spirit, which is such an important uh, aspect of being successful, it, it illustrates how what a fantastic boss she is. And I was saying earlier that this doesn't feel like the end, it kind of feels like the beginning. They've won the Euros, they've got to a World Cup final, and this feels now like a squad that is going to compete at major tournaments in years to come. I think, in many respects, you call this almost like a new beginning mm. um, of what they've achieved and where they can go from here. But over on the long term, all these young girls now watching all this and, and, yeah. and getting into the game. And it wasn't that long ago where people would tell me stories about when they were girls at, at school being barred yeah. from playing football. Yeah. The gigantic strides they've made is, is nothing short of uh, sensational. And you mentioned, uh, uh, the, uh, which is a very important part of the, of the project, the initial funding over the last 10 years, the National Lottery, 50 odd million, 200 new clubs, as you said, starting. But this is already happening. For, from, from this launch pad now, we're going to see a gigantic leap forward. I ask you to think back to when you were a young boy, you know. Late, I can't remember that far. Late but. 40s, early 50s, post-war Britain, a very different time. But, you know, girls who would have fallen in love with football back then, there just wouldn't have been any avenues at all for them, would there? None. None. As I said, barred from playing. Yeah. So none, none whatsoever. So it, the progression has is, is, been much quicker than the men's game, where we are today. And, of course, I think in many respects from what they've just done, it's, it's, it's a start of a, another increase on, yeah. on what we've seen so far, getting, getting to where they are today. It, it's just another, another new start in many respects. Yeah, and, and it is inspirational. I've got two girls, they're nine and seven. They watched every match of the World Cup with me. And I think for young boys as well, you can't fail but be inspired by the Lionesses. Yes, I think the inspiration they get for young kids, and even members of my family, I've got a granddaughter who's, who's 34 um, and she's not a young kid anymore but because uh, I'm older but she she was she watched it all and we were talking about it every day and she was through the bits with it and she's just a lady looking at uh, women's football and of course I think importantly you've got you're going to have these young kids of five six and seven years of age young girls who, who are seeing this and now starting and we're already seeing an increase in people who wanted to become part of a football club. I've been watching some of the girls behind. They're, pre they're pretty handy. Very good. They're very good. And, the, and you say the quality starts here. You know, you, you must start playing young to become good at the sport. And we've seen that now with the current squad. I mean, the quality of their, their game and their control, their passing, their shooting. We've seen some great goals. Chloe Kelly's penalty. I mean, goodness me. Rocket. Like, uh, rocket. It, it's, it's apparently it's the fastest shot and goal more than the Premier League. Yeah. That, to me, is, is arguably <laughs> one of the most outstanding at, at a time when taking penalties, and I've been there, and I've missed them. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. like, listen, I'm boy, I've been around a bit, and I've missed them. <laughs> I missed a big one that's cost us getting into a final of the Carabao Cup. But um, thanks for bringing these disappointing moments. Uh, uh, that penalty was just laughably brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, and look, just finally, you know, we're here to talk about the success of the Lionesses and about how it's inspiring the next generation. But finally, I've got to ask you about West Ham beating Chelsea yesterday afternoon as well, because a bit of a rocky season in the Premier League last season, European success, but, you know, obviously started this season well. We said a rocky season, I think it sums it up. It's amazing, really. We struggled all the year, apart from all season, apart from the last half a dozen games when we got out of it, and we go and finish up winning, it, winning a cup. So astonishing. So it's a terrific start to us particularly losing you know, Declan Rice going, um, one or two new players coming in. 
um, and beating a big club like Chelsea 3-1 is, and of course getting the point away from home is a, is a brilliant start. We just want to, as a fan, I want a bit more of a comfortable season as all West Ham fans do than we had last year. So Jeff, thanks very much for your time this morning. The next generation is in safe hands, and hopefully, it's a 57-year wait since the last time England won a World oh Cup. Dear. Hopefully, that wait will be over soon.